There are a variety of resources needed to help inner city schools and schools that lack the funding to succeed. And I would say the number one resource doesn't come from the classroom, it doesn't come from the state, it comes at home. I've met so many students who've told me that, you know, I say, you know, you've got a C, but you can do a lot better. And they'll look at me and say, you know, my folks are fine with me getting C's. Now, I was lucky enough to be raised by a mother that had the highest of expectations. And really to her, a B wasn't a very good grade. And as long as we have parents that are happy with students achieving as little as possible, settling for the lowest common denominator, we're not going to see success. But and many times when I've actually called home to talk about students being tardy for class, missing class, not doing their work, I find parents are almost making excuses for the kids. And, you know, when I think back to my own childhood, <laughs> if, you know, my mother would never have made an excuse for me. She would have, you know, yelled at me in the next room and I would have come in scared and that's where the support would have come and that's what needs to happen. There needs to be collaboration, not only between the teacher and student, but there needs to be collaboration between the teachers, the students, and the parents so that we can all reconcile our differences, figure out what the expectations are, and that will provide the resources in which we need to create better schools.